What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up a penetration testing lab in the cloud away from your house so you are safe and you don't have to worry about exposing vulnerable machines to the internet. If this is your first time setting up a penetration testing lab, you definitely want to try it in the cloud before you play in your house. Bad. You might expose your family, your own house and your personal information to the internet. So best way is to start with your lab in the cloud and I'm going to show you the easiest, the best and fastest way to actually do this. And if you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. My channel posts twice a week and we have wonderful content. So without wasting time, let's go and I'll show you guys what I'm using. I'm using Ravelo. Ravelo is a cloud pl platform that allows you to visualize pretty much anything. As you can see in my lab right here, I'm visualizing even my vSphere environment right now. I even have uh, machines just that are just running in the cloud and it's all vi virtual. So if you like that, I have more even my CCNP that I just got was running in the cloud. So if you guys like that, go ahead and subscribe and I'll be showing more of that. But if you want to start with your lab, I will show you guys a step by step in this video how to set up your own penetration testing in the cloud. This will be hosted on Amazon AWS, but Ravelo is a wonderful platform and it will cost you like 50 cents per hour. So this will be a great start and you can even get the first 14 days for free. So if you come to this link, which I will have in the description below, you can sign up for free and try it for 14 days. So guys, this is the blueprint that you need. Once you sign up for Avelo using the link below, this is the blueprint that you're going to add to your library. Just do add to my library. This will get you a Kali Linux working, in Nginx, mode security, VM, and this is the login information. So this will take you less than five minutes to set up and all you have to do is start up the machine. So the first thing you need to identify here is, it's 50 cents. As you can see here, it's 50 cents an hour. So that's a cost that you might have to incur. And I have to tell you, my account is free because it's a free VMware vExpert program that I, I am through. And if you haven't tried that, go ahead and watch my video on my channel right here. <coughs> Please like. In this video on my channel, I tell you guys how to get the five ways to get free software for your lab and I also tell you how to become a VMware AV expert and also get this free Ravelo service that I'm using for free. So if you haven't watched that, please go ahead and watch that if you're interested in free services. Otherwise, you can go ahead and pay for Ravelo. I think it's worth it. So this template that I'm deploying is by Clarence Chio. I did not create this template. I really appreciate his work, so I'm giving him the credit that he deserves. Clarence Chio, and this is also his LinkedIn profile. Once you have the template, go ahead and add it to your library. Accept the terms and add. I already have it in my uh, project, as you can see. Otherwise, uh, then go back to your Ravelo and deploy the template. To deploy the templates, uh, Ravelo calls them blueprints. So you want to go to library and blueprints then uh, you want to look for the name of the template that you deployed and it's called network penetration testing. So it's this one. You want to go ahead and do a create application. You can name it what you want. So I can call it my cyber range. And you can even put whatever description you want. Cloud based environment. This is no connection to your household. So go ahead and say create. As you can see, you get errors right away. So you might need to address those. So once you have it there, it will complain about key pairs. As you can see, you get four errors. To fix those four errors, I found a way around that. You can just go to general. Scroll down. I created my own key pairs. So you might need to do that. Then just hit save. Do that for the remaining three machines. You need a key pair. And I created one for my uh, VMs. If you need help with this, just let me know. Otherwise, this is very simple. And select there and save. 
So once everything is cleared out, you want to go ahead and publish. But it, you want to take a look at uh, how everything is set up. So I want this to run for three hours. Save. And then if we go to advanced, this will start all the VMs automatically. And you also want to check how much this will cost. So this will cost 49 cents an hour. And if you get the 14 days free trial, you can do this for 14 days. So I'm just going to say publish and also automatically start the VMs. This will take a while, but once all the virtual machines are up, all you have to do to console into them is just click on one. So Kali and console. As you can see, I can actually sign into this version. Root Ravelo Systems. All lowercase. So once we are in, the first thing that we need to do is find out what's going on in our network. So we need to enumerate this network find out what host we have and also uh, what else is there so if we go to information gathering uh, i usually use nmap but this one but today i'm just going to use zenmap so it's easy to see zenmap wants our target let's find out what our ip address is just go to the terminal if we do an if config just want to find out what our IP address is. So we are in the 10.0.0.5. That's our IP address. So we know our network is 10.0.0.0. So if we go back to our Zen map, my target should be 10.0.0.0 because I want the whole subnet and I want an intense scan. This will find out all the host what vulnerabilities are there, and a bunch of other information. So this is why I like Nmap a lot. So I just hit scan. And this might take a while. So once your Nmap scan is done running, you can see that we have our host list here. The MySQL, right here you can see what ports are open, and a bunch of other information that might be interesting. Oh, this is interesting. So, as you can see, these are like very vulnerable machines. You can just keep going and see what's going on there. And from here, you can actually start attacking these machines and also learning the skills that you need. So, we can go to ports and host. As you can see right here, we have port 22 is open, port 80 is open. I mean, this is just amazing. We can even see the topology from the fisheye. You can see the machines. So this is how you set up your first cyber range in the cloud. And this is very safe and secure. You can actually do this as long as you don't show people your public IP address or something. Ravelo is very good with this. And uh, as you can see, if you are someone who is interested in uh, penetration testing or IT security, you will definitely find a lot of the information that I found here in the host, very exciting. You might spend your, some time here just making sure that you uh, pawn most of these machines. So if you like this information, go ahead and sign up for Ravelo. Like I said, uh, I do have a bunch of other things. This is a cyber range that I'm showing you right now. I also have a vSphere lab, which I'll show you guys right now. And in this vSphere lab, I can sign into my NAS machine make sure that uh, everything works so as you can see so guys this is how my lab is this is how i practice my penetration testing skills away from my house into the cloud for free as a vm vmware v expert so if you want to know how to become a vmware v expert and get this service for free just go ahead and watch my video on YouTube, as you can see, it's called Five Ways to Get Free Software for Your Lab, and that also includes this lab. Otherwise, guys, as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. I post two videos a week, so make sure to subscribe, get those.
I'll, otherwise, I'll see you guys later.